Hey, Jim. Brought your gun this time. You over here with that girl of his, Charlie? I'm warning you now. This isn't the way you want to go about this. His health wouldn't have gone the way it did if that little whore had it. Where is she, huh? Where is she, Charlie? You don't need to worry about her, Jim. She's somewhere none of you fuckers can ever hurt her again. Do you hear me? I don't care how you feel about her. Her relationship with your piece of shit brother, her views, anything. You best have a gun if you try to get her again. Do you hear me? <coughs> I told you. I fucking told you, Jim, that I'd make you eat your words so hard you'd be forced to either shit them out or barf them up one of these days. That little lady is your niece, and I'll beat you faceless and bury you in cement if I have to. Do you understand me? I thought so. You piece of trash. Now get out! Darling? It's me. Can I come in? Hey. Hey, it's okay, baby girl. He's gone now. He didn't have a gun. Everything's okay. Come here. I got you, sweetheart. I'm here. I'm not gonna let those raving lunatics hurt you. We'll get all this stuff in a storage place closer to your city, and you can go through it on your own time, okay? Come on. Let's get all the stuff you don't want to go without and go to my place. It's well outside of town, and none of these vultures know where it is. <laughs> yeah. We can stop by Texas for some brisket. Now come on. Get your journals, knickknacks, embarrassing magazines, and backpacks. Wait. Was that a rhyme? Maybe the bacteria in the petri dish with my skull is finally forming some brains, huh? <laughs> Come on. Let's get you out of this deathbed of bad memories. Well, could I get the triple burger plate, please? Extra fries and a large soda. Diet. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. Pfft. Do you need to be jealous? Over Betty. That woman has been married to the especially surly biker at the bar over there for 20 years. And he would take my head off in a heartbeat. Besides, I think my old heart is happy where it's at right now. No, I... I know we can't rush into this. Into anything. It'd be like charging into a landmine with the old man passing. Grieving young woman and her upstanding father are friendly to an unhinged veteran. And then suddenly I'm the bad guy trying to take advantage. I know you don't think I'm unhinged, Shortstack. But, the PTSD is always there. Like a passenger on a bus falling asleep on your damn shoulder. Except for life. I haven't forgotten how you looked at me that night after I picked you up from prom. Your father saw the corsage you'd sarcastically given me and he... I just saw his hands wrap around your throat and I... I'm sorry. Maybe it was cathartic watching me beat that man to within an inch of his life. I don't know. But the way you looked at me, it was the same as you looking at him. And that killed me. For, for years, I wanted 
to be there. I wanted to protect you. But I'd shown my hand to that monster. He knew I cared about you. He'd taunt me. Say horrible shit. Charlie's got no brains in that head of his unless it comes to that rebellious sl <sighs> Well, you get the idea. Tell you what, Shortstack. How's about when we get home, we'll make a big pillow fort in the living room and watch hours upon hours of traffic stupidity. I hear that razor-sharp wit raining hell upon every lane-changing aggressive Mother Hubbard out there. I'll be more than happy to hold you all night, sweetheart. I'll even lend you one of my big shirts. <laughs> yes, I still have the one you got me. World's hottest soldier, right? <laughs> Sometimes I think you love getting me into trouble, you know that? Yes, you, you gremlin. You were sat there, drunk off eggnog and cackling for me to try it on and do a flip for some reason. Right in front of your dad and the whole damn platoon. And you tucked a bit of mistletoe in my back pocket, so people kept assuming I was asking them to literally kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love you too, you tiny, malicious little angel. I, uh... Sorry. I just... We're not there yet. I do. It scares me how much. Thanks. We gotta be careful though, okay? Your dad has influences all across this stupid county. It'd only take a few loose lips talking to a few backwater snakes to make our lives hell. And I sure as shit don't want you to go through anymore. You've taken more than your fair share of right hooks from life. Baby girl, I'm happy to fight the world for you. For us. But try not to make it a habit, huh? <laughs>